Hey everybody, Anthony 4 before Diesel. Just going to give you a quick review and a bit of information on these rotors and these pads from lsiauto.com.au. They're horsepower pads and rotors. Give you a bit of a review on those. But before we do, I just want to remind everybody, it was many years ago. Many, 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 many. Oh, I can please say many, 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 many. Many years ago that there was more people that wanted my advice than I could give to individually and that's when I started making videos so there's thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that want to listen to my advice so therefore um, unfortunately I can't do the one-on-one -on -one questions the text message service the phone number for the text message to order parts Monday morning 7 30 a.m is for that and I can only help everybody in Australia so I hope you understand I'm sorry um, that's why we've got our Facebook groups. You can put your questions there. Other people can help. People that have watched the videos know what I know. Um, I get to it. You won't find anybody else online that spends and provides, makes themselves available as much as what I do to answer questions on our Facebook groups. You won't find anybody else like that that's as busy as, busy as me that allocates that time to help you guys out. So please watch the videos, like, subscribe, turn the bell on, all that stuff. Get on our Facebook groups, Oz Hilux Crew, Oz Prado Crew, whatever other groups we've got on that list. Just keep watching videos. The playlists are key. So I'm sorry if are we friends, are we mates, uh, but I know you. I just wanted to ask a quick question, and I just want to ask a quick question after hours. I just wanted to ask a quick question on weekends. I'm sorry, none of that works. I've got a life, believe it or not, but I'm making another video for you right now. You watch the videos, you listen, you learn, and all the answers have been pre-provided in the videos. Like I said, because a long time ago, more people wanted more information than I can give to everybody one-on-one, -on -one, so I have to help everybody in bulk, if you like, in videos and in groups on, on Facebook where you ask your question, and when if I answer, hundreds or thousands of people are gonna see it, so bada bing, all right. Let's get to these pads and rotors. Thanks for listening if you hung around. Obviously, all the loyal, awesome people that just listen and learn. Okay, so I can't remember how long these have been on for. People that watch the videos would know. If you want to work it out, you can watch the Brakes playlist. This is our 2013 Hilux. It's probably only done a few thousand Ks on these rotors, um, but it has done thousands of kilometres. And you can even still see the grind lines in the rotors, which is really good. Um, no brake pulsation, no problems with the rotors whatsoever. I really like the rotors. Um, we're running three. We've got the front rotors and pads in the highlights. We've got the front and rear rotors in the 120 and the genuine Toyota pads also from LSI, of course, because um, they supply genuine Toyota parts cheaper than the Toyota dealers. So just be, there's a discount code. I think it's 4B4, spelled like the YouTube channel, 4B4-2023 or 4 before 2024 so use whichever you, one you want. If you didn't know about it, use 2024. If you've got the old one, 2023, I think we got that working again as well because people were going, oh, it's not working, it's not working. Well, that's because it's in old videos and posts and people still find it's in photos. It's on our Facebook group, 4 before Diesel, same as the YouTube channel. I think it's in the main picture. It's got the discount code there. But anyway, so we've got it all working again. You get a little bit extra discount, but it's already cheap. But the main thing is awesome customer service, and that's why we started buying the oil filters there. So we asked about other products. The road is awesome and cheap, you know, 50, 60 bucks, 65, that sort of thing, depends on your product and highlights, which is really cheap. Um, so no issues, I'm very happy with the rotors now. A bit of feedback on the pads. Um, let's get around and have a look at them. Remembering I've got black wheels, so I'm not gonna see a lot of dust, but I don't believe these pads, the horsepower pads, put out much dust, which is good. Um, I don't believe they are uh, heavy on friction material that um, damage your rotors and grind into them and put lines and grooves like your European pads and that, for the, you know, autobahn speed, yes, need brakes. Anyway, they're not like that. And to be honest, they've probably got less friction than the genuine Toyota stuff. So although I don't not like them, um, I prefer the genuine because it has got a bit more friction there. So there's nothing wrong with them. They just, you got to press the pedal a bit harder to get the same result. Um, they look like they're, they're, you know, you can't even see there's no measurable wear there. But like I said, probably only done a few thousand Ks. I don't know if it's three or four or five, something like that. Um, don't know how many Ks the vehicle's done. We'll update that soon when we do some more work on it. Tell you what the kilometers it's up to, whatever. I can't even remember if we did it in the last video. So might not work. 
Um, I think we've done 20 or 30,000 kilometres over the, we've had the vehicle, I think it's going into its third year now, since August 21, so 22, 23, yeah. So uh, a bit over 20,000 Ks. Um, bit of work on that. There's a playlist, our 2013 Hilux. Like there's a playlist for our other cars. Check the playlist, they're gold. Anyway, look, I've got no, nothing bad to say. No dust, no squealing, okay? I've got no brake squealing, no noise. They're cheap pads. I think they were 35 bucks a set, if I remember correctly. So uh, about half or third of the price of genuine. Um, but are they going to last that long? I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know anything else about them. But they've definitely got a bit less friction. So if you don't like, like, oh, I've got to put the pedal a bit harder. Once you get used to it, it's fine. But I suppose my issue is I'm always jumping into different cars. And when you get into one that, you know, it feels like you've got to push it a bit harder, it doesn't stop as well. It's to do with the friction material on the pads. So... That's your feedback on the pads, what I've got for you so far. On the other vehicles, no issues, no brake pulsation, no issues, no dust, obviously. Nothing to worry about with the genuine pads. I like the genuine pads. I think they're probably the best value for money overall. But these could last forever. Uh, the, like I said, if there was only, the only thing I could pick on is maybe you've got to press the pedal a bit harder, less friction material. So, of course, for the people that want to continue to listen, um, what's happening at the moment? It's the tyre swap at the moment. So, the uh, big 70, 70 series BFGs, 265, 77s, they're coming off. We'll go and have a look at those in a minute just to wrap up this video. And, you know, I like to yak for about 10 minutes. Yeah, what do you like to listen to? Do you like to listen for about 10 minutes or is that too long? I know for some people, you know, two minutes is too long. Can't keep them happy. And we've got some of those longer videos, 20 minutes, half an hour. Let me know in the comments on this one. What do you prefer? What sort of length video? Go and have a look at these tyres and have a chat about those, eh? Hey? All right, so this is the tyre lineup. These two at the back here are the back two. They're obviously the worst, these tyres. They're about eight or nine years old. Let me see if I can get a year off them for you. And you, yeah, These are USA-made ones. That's why they've lasted ages. And I'm just looking around, I'm trying to get that date for you, or so if you need to, come on, where's the number? Um, you know what, I can't even read the number today. Oh no, 16, there you go. That one right here is 2616, so about eight years old. I'm not sure about the next one, but obviously uh, these two are the rubbish. The next one's not too bad, it's about half worn, and the other one, the fourth one up, is kind of pretty much like new, you know what I mean? So we're gonna hold on to the last two for spares. But it's time to get rid of uh, a couple of tyres. And we've got another, we've got the fifth one there. We'll get rid of that. And we're just going to put the road tyres on for a while. The road tyres, they're like the stolen tyres. We call them the stolen tyres because when they're on the ute, because they just don't belong on it. You know, you've got a 2013 SR ute with some nice shiny Prado wheels that haven't been painted. Um, they just look like they've been stolen. Someone said, they, you know, it looks like, you know, when you see that, you know what I mean, uh, have a laugh, whatever, yeah, not that funny, but we have a laugh about it. So I'm going to put the stolen tyres on. Why? These things are heaps lighter. They're a bit smaller because they're 65 series. They're even smaller than a 65 series off-road like KO2. You can even probably see the difference in the size of them as a comparison. Massive difference. And the vehicles just drive so much nicer on these tyres. They're more comfortable. They've uh, got more responsiveness. They've got better braking, better handling better for safety. Um, the old Hilux is gonna have a bit of a rest for a while. We've just got the uh, stock standard side steps back on after a few minor repairs and butter bing, butter boom. And besides the, the difference in drivability is so much better, you save a heap of fuel. Just going from a tire like this to a tire like this saves you at least one liter per 100 Ks. Plus the size difference, it's just absolutely awesome. Look forward to getting these old flog tires off and these nice new road tires on pretty new 2022 prado they've done a few thousand cases as well not too much at all got to get them on the vehicle so i'll catch you on the next video thanks for listening bada bing bada boom see ya